Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Natalie Daly, and I'm the Managing Director in Eastern North America region for Axter Colatanche. Today, I'll talk to you about an approach to longevity and durability of bituminous geomembranes, which I'll refer to as BGM in this presentation. To give you a background, bitumen has been used as a construction and waterproofing product since ancient times. From the 4th millennium BC, the Babylonians and the Assyrians exploited bitumen as hydraulic mortar for the construction of terraces, canals, dams, etc., including the famous hanging gardens of Babylon. Many ancient achievements, including the Tigris dikes in Mesopotamia, bared witness to the exceptional longevity of bitumen. Bitumen emerged again in the 20th century as a waterproofing material for civil engineering applications in the form of a prefabricated bituminous geomembrane in which we'll refer to as BGM. To give you a better understanding of bituminous geomembranes, here is a cross section. A BGM is a synthetic waterproofing product manufactured by impregnating a non-woven long fiber polyester geotextile and a glass fleece within a bitumen compound. The top of the structure is sanded to enhance UV resistance and to provide grip for installation workers and or cover materials. On the bottom, there is a polyethylene anti-perforation film to limit the penetration of any vegetation roots. The geotextile provides a high mechanical resistance against tear and puncturing. The bitumen provides the waterproofing properties and ensures longevity of the framework by coating and protecting the geotextile. BGM thicknesses typically range from 3.5 millimeters to 5.6 millimeters, according to the ASTM D5199 standard, with a mass per unit area ranging from 4.2 to 6.4 kilograms per meter squared, as per ASTM D3776 standard. Durability of a geosynthetic is measured in terms of how it preserves its physical, mechanical, and hydraulic properties over time. When measuring the durability of a geosynthetic, a distinction must be made between exposed or covered conditions. The durability of a BGM is measured in terms of how its key components, namely the polyester geotextile and the bitumen, maintain their mechanical properties and low permeability over time under BGM operating conditions. For example, either remaining exposed to UV radiation and weathering or to be covered with soil subject to biodegradation by bacteria. I will go over the durability of covered BGM based on actual testing of samples from job sites in several years of service life, as well as long-term durability projections based on studies done by scientific authorities, based on mathematical modeling of test results with the French Nuclear Agency and by bacteria attack with the U.S. Nuclear Safety Agency. Lab testing was done for in situ samples after up to 20 years of service life for elongation and puncture following European standards. A testing program was carried out on exposed BGM sample materials exhumed from two test sites in France. The first was for a potable water reservoir in Corsica, where BGM was deployed on top of a compacted soil in 1981 and left exposed. Testing was performed after 10 years of service. The second was for a motorway ditch along Highway A81 in Le Mans, France, where the geomembrane was installed on a sand layer of 10 centimeters in 1979. Testing was performed after 14 and 20 years of service. Both these projects remain in service today. The test results from both sites showed that the coefficient of permeability according to Darcy's law decreased by only one power of 10 after 20 years. It went from 6.0 times 10 to the minus 14 meters per second to 4.0 times 10 to the minus 13 meters per second for an exposed BGM. There was no significant reduction in the tensile strength for any of the samples since the tensile properties of BGM are derived primarily from the polyester non-woven geotextile which is reinforced inside the BGM. This geotextile is well protected from aging and degradation processes by being totally impregnated and coated by bitumen. For more details, you will find the table of the results in the paper. Next, I'll go over in situ testing for covered BGM after 30 years of service life by the French National Research Institute of Agriculture. At this time, the Hospedal Dam was the first large rock fill dam in the world 
of more than 20 meters high, which was approved by ICOLD, which is the International Commission of Large Dams, to use a geomembrane sealing system using a BGM. It was built in 1977. Like other large dams, Ospedal was investigated after 30 years in service. In 2007, a testing program on samples exhumed from the dam was carried out to characterize the aging of BGM in terms of its hydraulic conductivity, tensile strength, and physical chemical properties. The general conclusion of the sampling campaign is that after 30 years in service, the BGM has maintained its waterproofing capability and at the reduction in its mechanical properties is well within the allowable standards. BGM samples were retrieved from three different locations of the upstream face. Bidimensional tensile tests were carried out for three samples using a biaxial tensile strength device type burst test on circular samples with a disk diameter of 0.2 meters. The samples were subjected to an upstream hydraulic pressure of 50 kPa per minute until leakage through the geomembrane was observed. The testing program undertaken by the Laboratory of French Ministry of Agriculture in 2007 concluded that the reduction of the tensile strength after 30 years in service was found to be 17.5%. This was well within the limit of 25%, which was the allowable limit of European standards. Therefore, BGM had maintained its waterproofing capability. The dam is still in service in 2020 till today with complete satisfaction of the client. In order to obtain a CE marking, it requires the evaluation of the durability of geomembranes by measuring the mechanical characteristics of geomembranes under artificial aging in UV chamber and after oxidation according to European standards. In the standard EN12224, the geomembrane is exposed to a UV light during 3000 hours with the cycle of wet dry phases, including five hours of exposure in dry heat with temperature of 50 degrees Celsius and one hour in water with temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. After oxidation, the values of tensile strength and elongation measured on the BGM were equal on average to 90% of the measured value of a new geomembrane. The results of mechanical tests after aging by the effect of UV and oxidation allowed to estimate the life expectancy to be longer than 50 years. The French National Nuclear Waste Management Agency initiated a program to seal the radioactive waste produced everywhere in France, such as in laboratories, hospitals, etc., for at least 300 years, because this represents the life of this low and medium radioactive waste material. The key criteria to select the capping liner for this project was to have a liner that was impervious, meaning the amount of rainwater that may penetrate the capping liner and thus meeting the waste must be kept to a strict minimum to avoid leaching and leakage of the radionuclides. Also to have a liner that provides longevity. The cover must be flexible in the time in order to move with the substrate, but also to remain watertight throughout the surveillance by drain and manholes, which would be visited every day. This is a requirement by the French government during the 300 year phase. Also for it to provide protection. In addition to water infiltration, the cover must be able to resist to different stresses, such as erosion, temperature fluctuations, chemical attacks, uh, also attacks by living organisms and seismic activity. In the end, a BGM was finally selected for capping of the La Manche facility between 1992 and 1994. In order to determine the long-term aging and effectiveness of existing potential covering membranes, ANDRA developed a mathematical model and calibrated it with test results on samples taken from existing structures sealed by BGM since 5, 10, 15, and 20 years. All liner samples were collected by a well-known international consulting firm in dams and water management from different existing sites. To ensure BGM met the criteria, ANDRA asked for numerous tests in various laboratories. After seven years of testing conducted by ANDRA and the French Nuclear Safety Commission, the conclusion was that under the worst case scenario, the maximum biodegradation thickness of the BGM is 1.5 millimeters on either side. 
thus a total of three millimeters out of a 5.6 millimeter thick BGM after 300 years of service. The remaining thickness of BGM would still serve as an effective waterproofing material. The United States regulation for land disposal of radioactive waste requires that waste must remain stable for a minimum period of 300 years, and thus an estimate of the rate of biodegradation of bituminous material is necessary to predict the long-term stability of low and intermediate level radioactive waste storage sites. The Brookhaven National Laboratory of the U.S. Department of Energy undertook a series of experiments to determine the rate of degradation of BGM samples under a variety of conditions. The tests were done in chambers with bitumen samples measuring the metabolic CO2 release from these chambers under the action of very active bacteria. For each experiment, the volume of material was constant while the surface area varied depending on the type of sample used. Three types of soil were used. You can see more on the soil types uh, used for this experiment in the paper. For most of the soil experiments, indigenous soil microbes were used. The experimental procedure was to have bitumen samples loaded onto the Bartha Pramer flasks along with the soil as shown in the illustration. The amount of CO2 released from the controls and samples were determined by titration of the 0.1 and KOH solution. The table of results of degradation rates of bitumen are in the paper if you want more information, but the mean degradation rate of BGM was concluded to be 5.5 times 10 to the minus four centimeters per year. To conclude, bitumen is the oldest known engineering material and has been used from the earliest times for waterproofing works. Based on the information in this presentation, we can conclude that the BGM very well maintains its mechanical properties and its water tightness after a service period of 30 years under covered conditions. The mathematical modeling of the BGM durability indicates that the biodegradation of the BGM is a very slow process and thus it can maintain its water tightness for 300 years and more. With regards to the durability under exposed conditions, Actual testing after 10 years in service shows little reduction in its mechanical properties and the required CE testing of artificial UV aging indicates that durability under exposed conditions could be up to 50 years. Thank you for your time and listening to the presentation. If you would like to receive additional information, please visit our virtual stand or contact us through our website. Have a nice day, GeoAmerica.